Stephanie Milkey here, aka Keto Mom, or often called Mom, Sis, Steffi, Daughter, Wife, Aunt, and Friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is Mom. I should probably say Wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest if you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted, but when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and I'm so excited to share something that I have been wanting to share with you for a while. I have a question for you, and the question is, do you think, if you had to say right off the bat, you are a carrot, a hard-boiled egg, or a coffee bean? Like if I were to say, in an environment, in a situation, in your life, I'm going, to, I'm going to explain them here in a second, but uh, we're going to talk about what it would look like if you are a carrot, a hard-boiled egg, or a coffee bean. And so as you're tuning in, where are you tuning in from? Good morning, good afternoon. If you're watching the live, if you're watching the live, will you post one below? If you're watching a replay, post two. I like to see what works for people during the time of the day. All right, so here's what we're doing. Mornings are for morning mindset. Uh, if you're brand new, post new below. I can catch you up to all of the things on the Keto Mom page. You can always go to ketomomsecrets.com, click on food, how to get started, recipes, book club, ketones, whatever you're needing. Now we are going to officially start this book. Uh, yesterday was heart day. So today is what I'm like talking to you. Uh, we homeschool. We've got four girls. We work from home. So some days my days run all into one. So midweek, Wednesday, we're going to officially start this the following Monday. You might be like, what in the world? Just keep tuning in, whether you watch the live or the replay, because a lot of you are getting your book in the mail. I've been having people message me this morning going, my book is coming today. So the power to change, it's going to be amazing. Uh, we went over the introductory, but we will redo it. We're going to do the book together. It's going to be incredible. How do you make it incredible? You take the action on what we talk about. So this book is to come very, very soon. Here is, here's your topic for today. I'm really excited. So I got this book in the mail. And actually, I got a kid's version of this book too. And so our girls read it yesterday. Our two teen daughters read this one. And then we have the kid's version that our two younger girls that are 11 and 9 read it yesterday. So I'm going to give you the basic overview. You can read this entire book in 30 minutes less than that. Our, our, one of our daughters read it in like 20 minutes. All right. I'm going to give you the concept of this. Uh, and in fact, let's do something fun. Uh, I would love it if I, I actually love to give books away. So if you can do me a, a couple, if you can do me a favor, do me two things. Why don't you tag one of your very best friends below? And I would love it if you shared the video. If you press the share button, you have to let me know that you shared. So say I shared below. And then we'll do some fun drawings throughout the week. We're going to give some books away. So I need you to press the share button. And then we'll do a drawing. And then we'll be mailing out some coffee bean books. How does that sound? So take a best friend below. Press the share button. Sharing is caring. It invites other people to the community. And then they can join you. All right. Here is the thought for you today. Are you ready? Are you a carrot? a hard boiled egg or a coffee bean. So there's a story in this book. I'm not going to read the story, but I'm going to be your storyteller. So pretend I'm your teacher and I'm standing at a whiteboard and I draw, or I'm not going to be a teacher. I'm going to be a cook. I'm in the kitchen. I have a pot of boiling water. Okay. I have a pot of boiling water. And let's say you're going through some life circumstances, uh, things in your life that you, just your environment, the coffee, I'm sorry, the, the pot of boiling water is your life. We're going to put a carrot into that boiling water. Tell me really quick, what happens to the carrot? Anybody, anybody? It gets soft. It gets soft. Oh, my husband guessed it. If you didn't know, I have an incredible husband, always on the other side of the camera. All right, so 
I'm not, again, not reading the story to you, but it's a really great book and really great for teenagers. So I would encourage you to get it and have them read it. So the carrot was softened and weakened by its environment, which was the boiling water. All right. So we're going to think about in your life, when you're put into circumstances, situations, environments, are you going to be a carrot, a hard boiled egg, or a coffee bean? So in general, when a carrot is put into hot boiling water within 10 minutes or less, it is softened, it is weakened by its environment. Now, let's do the same thing with the hard boiled egg. Well, the egg. You put the egg into boiling water, and what do you get, Steve? It gets hard, Mrs. Stephanie. <laughs> it gets hard. The egg gets hard in boiling water. Same as the carrot, it's, the carrot is weakened by its environment. The egg is hardened by its environment. He says it happens to a lot of people. An egg, when it's hardened, is like a person who becomes mean, angry, negative, and sometimes numb because of the difficult environment that they're in. They grow to hate life and hate people. Their hearts are hardened and they lose the desire to love and be loved. So we've got a carrot who is weakened and probably like steps back, doesn't go out with people, like doesn't step into new things, basically quits, right? You've got an egg that is hardened and has a hard heart. Okay, and so the boy that's walking through this situation was like, I don't want to be a carrot or an egg. What is my other option? So he goes, all right, there's one more thing. He gives the boy a coffee bean. He tells him to go home, put the coffee bean in a boiling pot of water. And what happens? The boy comes back and he goes, oh my goodness, the coffee bean he put into hot water eventually turned into coffee. The boy goes, I didn't even know a coffee bean could turn into a, he goes, I knew that instant coffee turned into coffee, but I didn't know that you could put a single coffee bean into some boiling water and it would change its environment. He goes, it's like magic. And the teacher goes, no, well, yes. He goes, but I prefer to say that the coffee bean isn't transformed or isn't affected by the environment. The coffee bean transforms the environment. The coffee bean rises to the level of its environment and it changes it. And so the boy was like, oh yes, that's amazing. And so here's, he goes uh, in the book, he says, I'm going to teach you one of the most valuable lessons that you will never be able to forget. So as you're choosing your attitude, you might feel like you want to quit. You might feel like things aren't going your way. Maybe you're like, this isn't for me. You can think to yourself, am I going to be a carrot, a hard boiled egg, or am I going to be the coffee bean? Life is often like a pot of boiling water. It can be harsh, stressful, and difficult. You can find yourself in environments and facing conditions that test you and who you really are and can change, weaken, or harden you if you let them. You are feeling, so in general, he's going like this, just so you understand. It's a little bit of a story, not reading it all to you. For those of you who are just tuning in, this is the book. If you're asking uh, the coffee bean, he goes, you are feeling the pressures of school, papers, and tests. You are feeling the heat that comes from expectations of being a great football player. You feel like your parents' marriage is important and yet they want to get divorced. You hate social media. You hate the negativity of the world rising up all around you in your boiling water. You feel it. He goes, but you get to choose. You get to choose. You can be like the carrot that is weakened and softened by its environment. You can be like the egg that is hardened by its environment. Or you can be like the coffee bean that transforms its environment. Yeah. It's a choice. He goes, I see a coffee bean and you will overcome challenges and change the world if you choose that. So the story continues on, talks about, you know, basically a high schooler, talks about his situations in school, with sports, with social media, with his parents and how he overcomes it. And I just had a couple of things I wanted to share with you because basically you might be sitting right now going, I want to quit. It could be in your health. It could be in your marriage. It could be with finances. It could be with anything, right? The only way that you're going to fail is if you quit and you are either letting your environment take over and either harden your heart, soften you and have you retreat and just give up. Or you can rise to the level of where you're at today and go, you know what? I might not love where I'm at today and I might not choose the environment that I'm in, but I can choose my attitude. I can choose to be grateful. I can choose to look at things in life and go, I get to go to work. I get to go to work and be an encouragement. I get to. I get to instead of I have to. I get to go to the gym. 
I get to eat healthy. Why? Because in this book, we're going to choose about, we're going to learn about your identity. I get to be a healthy mom. I'm going to choose that, right? Not I have to go to the gym. I get to go to the gym so I can be strong for my kids. Uh, I have to eat healthy and eat that salad. No, I get to eat that salad and protein and drink more water so I can be healthy for my family. Right? I'm going to change the environment. I'm going to have a positive attitude. I'm going to be the coffee bean that encourages those around me, watch my words, builds people up. I'm working on my mindset. I'm learning on the Keto Mom page. I'm going to ask really good questions. I'm going to smile and not frown. I'm going to get up extra early and listen to podcasts like you get to choose. So as you're going throughout your day, I want you to think to yourself, am I being a carrot, a hard-boiled egg, or a coffee bean? That's it. This is the book. I'm going to give some away. So a couple things. Press the share button. Sharing is caring. You have to tell me that you shared because I'll put your name into a drawing. Uh, sometimes social media is funny and I can't click on all the names. So tell me that you shared below. Tag a friend below. Uh, we'll be doing some drawings this week. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Your presence matters. We do mindset in the mornings. And then uh, throughout the day, there's recipes and different keto tips to help you on your journey. You can always send me a message. I would love to reach out to you, have a conversation, figure out where you're at, and help you with your goals. Whether you need some recipes, how to get started, if you want to try my mom fuel, if you've never tried this and you have no idea what it is, post ketones in the comments. And that is my bell to tell me that I get to go to the dentist. Oh, my internet. Oh, that is my alarm saying I get to go to the dentist because I get to have my teeth cleaned. Not I have to because I enjoy it so much that I get to go to the dentist. So have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it.